Okay, well, if people have followed my work for a number of years, they know that when I find something I like and I develop it far enough, I usually try to put it in a box. It goes from a prototype board or a, a rudimentary type of structure into more of a permanent thing in a box. And I've been uh, working with boxes to see what kind of situation I want to do because size is a problem where I live. I can't have anything big. I can't make any noise. Uh, it has to be able to be put in a drawer and stuff. So I'm working on going back to this uh, paperclip motor design. It's very small. runs on a AA battery. And I changed the rotor on this to a ring magnet. The original rotor was the stack of um, neodymium magnets and it was suspended on paper clips. Um, I went to a brass shaft instead of the paper clip shaft. It was uh, just better. This is the circuit and I called it the electronic paper clip motor. The circuit is by Dad Have. Uh, it is a variation of a circuit that uh, S-Mark Creations, Mart and I worked on this uh, back in 2011. Uh, it was a self-start circuit um, and it's just been stripped down and modified slightly but that's basically the same uh, complementary transistor circuit that's been around forever. Um, just modified as a motor circuit. But uh, one other thing uh, about this right here, this is uh, what I call Maggie and I built her back in 2009 when uh, Johnny Davro and I and a bunch of guys were working on the one magnet no bearing Bedini motor project and I built this up uh, to investigate satellite rotors with these ring magnets which uh, he actually came up with the idea of using a ring magnet and then I've used it ever since and this goes back to about 2009 now the way I, I built this thing here you probably notice there's a piece of plastic tape in front of there. Well, it takes a little ball, a neodymium magnet, inside her to make her really function correctly. And this is a little alternator, basically. It's a, it's a magnet spinning inside a coil of wire that makes an alternator. I use a bridge rectifier on the back to uh, make it into a pulse DC, and out comes a DC through her LED eyes. And like I say, this was back in about 2009 when I built this device and uh, named it Maggie. Let me show you how this works now. You just start it up like this. It starts a lot easier. You can't even see it turn, unfortunately, but you can probably hear it. It's much, much smoother. Like I said, it's a brass shaft with a ring magnet. This half-inch uh, ring magnet diametrically magnetized. And it, it works on this quite well, too. And Patrick was the first one that came up with the clue as to why this works. And uh, you notice the magnets are different sizes. This is working like a worm gear. And it's interconnecting with this magnet here like a worm gear drive on a gear drive would work. And because they're mismatched, you can't link them up directly. You have to go into like a worm gear, like a differential on a car. And that's how that works. Now, uh, once that gets going, I can use this here and extend the field. And you notice I can extend the field out using both of those magnets way out to here. And even though it doesn't look like it, that little ball is spinning up inside that coil. And that's how the, the Maggie uh, generator works. Now, let's see if I can get this in the box. I'll show you how the box configuration works. This was just going a box. A better box, a better arrangement, but the idea is this. Then you just seal it up. And now that's running inside it. You see the little light glowing through there. And it will operate right through that box and spin up the outside magnets. Same thing with Maggie. You just sit there on top and uh, she's operated right through the plastic box or wooden box. Anything that would not stop the magnetic flux lines. And like I say, once that magnet's going, then you can extend out this uh, device here as a satellite. I 
Anyway, that's where I'm at with this project. Like I say, I'm, I'm getting ready to kind of wrap it up and uh, move on to something else. I wanted to put that thing in a box and uh, have it uh, so that I could keep it and then uh, use it whenever I want to use it. But that's the uh, little uh, paper clip motor just refined. This is the circuit. Freeze frame that and uh, copy it. It's extremely simple. I called it the electronic paper clip motor. The circuit was really uh, developed to a point uh, what I liked by Dad have, John have, and then I'm lid motor. And that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching.